Last time, we put our apple in salt to start mummifying it. We also took out the pips and put those in salt. And this time, we'll be making canopic jars to put the pips, our organs, in. Canopic jars were usually clay or stone jars with the heads of four gods, the sons of Horus, the sky god. The lungs, liver, stomach and intestines were placed in the jars as the ancient Egyptians believed they were important to help you live on in the afterlife. The brain wasn't kept. It was removed with a hook before the body was dried out. To make your canopic jars, you'll need four clean, empty yoghurt drink pots or four cardboard tubes, sellotape, kitchen foil cut into squares, scissors, colouring pens or pencils, paper and a printer if you want to print out the heads. Also, you'll need your pips. Empty the apple pips out of the salt, wash them and leave them to dry. Print out or draw the canopic jar heads. I'll include a file with this video. Colour them in and cut out the strips on the paper too. Use silver foil to make a lid for your jar. If using cardboard tubes, use foil to make a bottom of your jar too. Use sellotape to make a circle from one of the strips which fits over the top of your jar. And stick one of the god's heads to this strip. Stick the name of your god onto the canopic jar. Repeat with each head and each name. Take two pips, these will be lungs, and put them in Happy the Baboon Face God. One pip for the liver. Put this into the jar of Imseti, human faced. One pip for the stomach, Dwamatef, the dog headed god. And one pip for the intestines into the jar of Kwebi Senuef, the falcon. If you don't have enough pips, don't worry. The body organs were dried out for at least two weeks, then wrapped in bandages before being placed in the canopic jars. The heart was dried out, wrapped and put back in the body for use in the weighing of the heart ceremony to see if you've been good or bad. Next week, we'll unveil our mummies.